Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. So today in this video, we are going to fix Dungeon Keeper as well as the Deeper Dungeons expansion pack to work on a modern Windows operating system like Windows 10, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 etc. So without any further ado, let's start the video. So first of all, you need to insert the CD-ROM of the game. I am using Dungeon Keeper Gold Edition which includes both the original game as well as the expansion pack. So to install Dungeon Keeper Gold Edition, I have to go to the WinSetup subdirectory inside the Keeper directory. Now if I execute setup.exe, I get this error message. This app can't run on your PC. This is because this setup.exe is a 16-bit file and I am trying to execute it on a 64-bit operating system. Similarly, if you are using the standalone Dungeon Keeper game or the standalone Deeper Dungeons DLC and you have this error message after executing setup.exe, that means that you have a 16-bit uh, setup file on a 64-bit operating system. So in order to execute the 16-bit file on this 64-bit operating system, you have to download a uh, application known as OTVDM. I will provide the link for OTVDM in the description. So after you have uh, downloaded and extracted the zip file, you have to go to the uh, setup.exe file and then execute the file. So it asks if you require DirectX 3 or not. You can click on yes or no because you have DirectX 12 installed on Windows 10. So I will install the game on D drive. So our installation is completed. I will skip restarting my PC. So my installation is completed. Let's try to run the game. Uh, so let's try with the expansion pack first. So we have a black screen now. So the game crashed again. So the game crashed. So now let's try with the original game, Dungeon Keeper. So you saw that after we double click the file, nothing happened. We just saw a blue circle and then nothing occurred. So if this happens, if you don't get any black screen or any other error message after executing uh, Keeper95.exe, what you have to do that you have to rename the file to something else. I am re renaming it to Keeper95A. So this game too started but we are also having another black screen for this game. So this game also crashed. So if you are facing crashes like this for Dungeon Keeper or Deeper Dungeons, you have to install the Digivoodoo emulator. You will need the direct draw file of the Digivoodoo emulator to run, uh, to run Dungeon Keeper or the Deeper Dungeons expansion pack. So I will run uh, Dungeon Keeper and the Deeper Dungeons expansion pack with 1080p resolution but i recommend that you don't set the resolution for these games from digivoodoo because you will have some scaling problems in these games i will i will do this now only for the sake of this video so that you can see the game in full screen in the video so the game is starting So the game is working fine. So we'll now run Dungeon Keeper.
so this game is also working fine now let's try the direct 3d versions to install this direct 3d versions you may need to download the direct 3d patch from the internet if you don't have it in my case i have the gold edition and i have the direct 3d patch inside the cd rom so i don't have to download anything So now you get this error message, dungeon keeper not found. Please install dungeon keeper before installing direct 3D version. So this message is coming because we have uh, we have changed the name of the keeper uh, dungeon keeper executable. So if this error message comes, you have to rechange the name to the original name. We have changed the name to keeper 95 again. Now let's execute the direct 3D setup exe again. So installation is successful now. Now you can change the file name again. So now let's try the uh, Dungeon Keeper Direct 3D version. So Dungeon Keeper Direct 3D crashed. Now let's try dun uh, Deeper Dungeons Direct 3D. So Deeper Dungeons Direct 3D also crashed. So if Digivodo can't run the Direct 3D version of the game, you have to use a different software known as DXWND for running the Direct 3D versions of the game. I'll provide the link for DXWND in the description too. You can download it from there. So after you have downloaded DXWND and extracted the files, you have to open the DXWND uh, application. After that, you have to go to uh, file, go to import, and then go to the exports folder. From here, search for dungeon. Dungeon Keeper. So we have Dungeon Keeper D3D. So we have to select these options from uh, select this option from here. So now we'll click on modify and then change the game path. So we are doing for Dungeon Keeper D3D now. So we'll select the keep D3D XE. So we are done here. Now we'll try with deeper dungeons. Click on import again. Go to the export directory and search for deeper. So you get the deeper dungeons DX, uh, D3D file here also. So here is the deeper dungeons D3D. These are the old ones I tried out. Uh, I am deleting it for this video. Sorry, I deleted all of them. Let's try again. So you have to go to the import directory, search for deeper dungeons. You will get the uh, file here. Click on modify and select deep d3d.exe from here. Similarly, for keep, three, uh, keep d3d also, you have to search for uh, dungeon keeper dungeon keeper d3d and you will get this file also so you have to modify the path to keep d3d and also the launch to keep d3d so the configuration is now complete now let's try but before trying that you have to delete the uh, you have to delete the dgvoodoo files if you have them pasted otherwise there may be some errors So let's try now. So you can see that the deeper dungeons D3D is working fine with DXWND software. You can see this uh, D3D logo here. So 
so deeper dungeons d3d worked fine now let's go to dungeon keeper d3d So dungeon keeper D3D also working fine. So both of the games worked fine. Now if you want to run the game in full screen mode, you can also do that. So the full screen mode also worked fine. So overall both the direct 3D versions of Dungeon Keeper and the, the uh, Deeper Dungeons expansion pack worked fine. If you have the problem where you don't get any black screen without Digivoodoo for Dungeon Keeper, what you have to do is you have to rename the executable file and then run the game. Otherwise the game may not run. Please remember this step or else the uh, or else you won't be able to run the dungeon keeper diagram version on your pc so this is the end of the video guys thanks for watching the video if you like the video click on the like button click on the subscribe button for more videos and as always stay tuned for more videos bye for now